Brother Jim reporting here at End Times Prophecy News. Over 50% of attendees at Trump's Wisconsin rally weren't Republicans. The fix is in. God has appointed Trump Cyrus as a, for a second term in America to make America great again. This is some news that should absolutely terrify Democrats. They know they need Wisconsin and other Rust Belt states to beat Trump in 2020, but the crowd at Trump's recent rally there proves winning the state is going to be extremely difficult for them. More than half of the people at Trump's rally were not even Republicans. Actually, we're working closer to two thirds. A mind-blowing 58% of attendees at Trump's Wisconsin rally were not Republicans up from 43% in Ohio. You think we're far away from two thirds, 66%? Oh, it's coming, folks. It's coming. Several days, I can't believe this. I just can't believe this. What happened to the Republicans? <laughs> They're being smothered out by all these Democrat and Libertarians who were lining up in line first to attend the rallies. That's right. In order to get in, you have to be in line. Several days ago, Trump's campaign manager, Brad Parscale, posted statistics from last week's rally held in Toledo, Ohio, which showed that 43% of attendees identified as either Democrat or independent. I called that figure stunning in a recent post, but the same statistic from Trump's Tuesday night rally in Wisconsin can only be described as staggering. 57.8% of registrants identified as either Democrat or independent. Obviously, as a conservative, I've, I am overjoyed at these numbers. I take them to mean that this group is looking for an alternative to the current field of the candidates running for the Democratic presidential nomination. Pascal's past rally reports have always identified the number of Democrats who show up, which has averaged between 22 to 23 percent. We more than doubled it. 20,300 voters were identified at the Ra Milwaukee rally, 15,700 from Wisconsin, 57.9% were not Republicans, huge, and 4,300 registrants didn't vote in 2016. Amazing, isn't it? And here's the big data from Toledo. 21.9% Democrats. Many of the working class voters in these states who used to vote Democrat are now supporting Trump. Instead of trying to win these voters back, Democrats have stupidly doubled down on crazy. They don't even seem to realize how much they have hurt their own cause. Like I said, God has turned them over to a reprobate mind. Speaking of reprobates, Khomeini and what he's doing to his people, horrific grieving mother fenced off from her son's body and grave after he was murdered by tyrant Khomeini and down jetliner, which he shot down. This is just so sad and evil. Last week, after several days of denial, the Khomeini regime admitted they shot down a jetliner with 176 passengers and crew on board after trying to hide it. Oh yes, big time hiding it. Wouldn't turn over the black box at first. Then they got dogs to sniff out the bomb fragments. Then they bulldozed the area. Then they finally, after the U.S. Uh, found out by satellite that it was actually a missile from Iran fired at that passenger jetliner they were busted and they finally admitted it. This is what they do. This week, many of the bodies were identified and several funerals were held. This scene is very difficult to watch. Listen to this. Telling her to be quiet? That's the way it is. You wear all in black and you be quiet. Shut up. Don't 
Don't hold my hand. The, the pro regime woman is allowed inside, but she's barred out. You see what you see what this old this mother is showing the pro regime young lady. You're going to be on the other side of the fence someday. Your kids are going to be dead, and you're going to be doing the exact same thing I'm doing because you haven't taken the red pill and woken up. The love of money is the root of all evil. And Alan Dershowitz, my cousin, said, wrote and told me to change my last name for joining Trump defense team. He's scared. His family is against him. Ken Starr, Robert Ray, and Democrat law professor Alan Dershowitz, Democrat, were selected to defend President Trump at the Senate impeachment trials starting next week. What better than a Democrat law professor to help defend Trump. Ken Starr is best known for leading the investigation and impeachment of President Bill Clinton. Alan Dershowitz is a lifelong Democrat attorney, author, and Harvard law professor. Pam Bonney is the former Florida Attorney General. Later this afternoon, Alan Dershowitz clarified his role on the Trump defense team. Dershowitz will present the constitutional argument impeachment at the Trump impeachment trial. Friday night on Hannity, Alan Dershowitz told the Hannity audience his family is not happy with his decision. And last but not least, Alan Dershowitz says he denies being full member of Trump impeachment team, clarifies his role presenting arguments, trying to save face with his family, an attack of the left and the Clinton cabal, obviously. So what did he say on the Dan Abrams show on Sirius XM? Abrams says, how did you find out that you were going to be a member of the Trump team? I think it overstates that the say I'm a member of the Trump team. Um, I was asked to present the constitutional argument that I would have presented had Hillary Clinton men elected and had she been impeached. I have been a critic of the overuse of impeachment uh, for many, many years. I've written about it. I was, of course, very critical of the impeachment of Bill Clinton. And I was asked to present my constitutional argument um, against impeachment. Um, I will be there for, you know, one hour basically presenting my argument. But I'm not a full-fledged member of the defense team. I am realistic. Any realistic sense of that term. Uh, and what he's saying is, is that, see, impeachment... What he's defending is the constitutional argument that the people are supposed to vote for their president. And when you impeach a president, you are negating the people's rights to choose who they want to vote for their president. I mean, if the Democrats can't rip off an election and steal it, they'll impeach you and take away your right to even vote for your president. Alan is doing is trying to do the right thing and save faith with with excuse me save face with his unhinged liberal friends at the same time. Very true, very true. That'll be all for this report, and may the Lord bless.